GGC family, since the start of this COVID pandemic, the church has been sending us documents in a digital form called portable document format, or otherwise known as PDF. Now, this format is here to stay, but for some of us, this is very daunting and very challenging to understand. So we'll take you through a step-by-step process of how to open your PDF files on your mobile devices. Follow along as you go through this three-part tutorial from downloading the needed applications to scanning the QR code to opening and accessing the PDF file itself. Rest assured, this is a very easy step-by-step process, so stick with us until the end. We've also added timestamps so you can skip the parts you already know or you can review the parts that you may have missed. So check the description box down below. The first thing you need to do is to download an application that can recognize PDF files. We recommend using Adobe Acrobat Reader. It's optimized for mobile use and it's also easy to install. There are three easy steps. First, just go to your App Store if you are on iPhone or iPad or Play Store if you are on any Android device. Next, go to your search bar, key in Adobe Acrobat Reader, and hit the search button. Look for this icon and press the get or install button beside it. Once you finish downloading the app, the next thing to do is to download our documents. Let's revisit our latest online worship as an example. We can download our documents by tapping the link provided to us in the description box, or we can scan the QR code provided. If you may have noticed as well, the church has been posting links to our document in QR code format. Your mobile device may already have an installed app to scan QR codes, but in case there isn't, you can just go back to your App Store or Play Store, key in QR code scanner, and install the app of your choice. For me, I use the app called QR Code Reader and QR Scanner because it is lightweight and it gets the job done quickly. Now we're ready to scan our QR code. Make sure your device is connected to the internet through your Wi-Fi or mobile data. Open your QR Code Reader app Point the camera at the QR code. Open the document. Wait for the document to load and click the download button. If you're an Apple user, there is an additional screen. Click on the send button and then scroll down and click save to files. Choose which folder you will download it to. In my case, I'll save it to my phone's downloads folder. After downloading the document, let us open the Adobe Acrobat Reader app. Usually, the downloads folder won't be immediately available, so we need to tap the Browse More Files button and navigate to the Downloads folder. Select the file and wait for it to load. Now you are ready to view the file. Sometimes, the church will upload interactive PDFs. This means that we can put text into it. Usually, sermon handouts and booklets will be interactive so we can jot down our notes and reflections. To input text into the interactive handouts, simply click on the fill in the blanks portion. You will notice that the blanks will change to a blue color. These are the portions of the PDF that we are able to edit. Simply key in your notes or reflections and you will see the text on screen. The app will automatically save the document for you, but you can be extra sure by saving another copy. We hope that through this step-by-step -step tutorial, you are now able to understand more about PDFs and that you are now finally able to open and even to edit your PDF files on your mobile devices. This COVID pandemic is challenging us to use and in fact, even to maximize the technology that is available before us. It can be very daunting at first, but rest assured, we are here to help you. So feel free to ask your questions in the comment section down below. 
This is Josh Ongo, and until we meet again, stay safe and God bless you.